Isn't that wonderful, duck? Right? Can I get a quack happiness? A happy quack? Can you quack happy? Can you? Can you? No, no quack happy. Oh, happy quack. Well, I'm talking about happy quack. All right. The ducks don't want to talk. All right. Well, I was trying to talk to them. But rain is coming tomorrow. It's going to rain on our Thanksgiving. Hopefully it does. We need the rain. I mean, wow, it's dry down here. But let's talk about the message. Well, I want to talk about, you know, um, you know, it, it's sad. The more I, I, I like meet people and 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 I see people and they talk about everybody will talk about what they're concerned about. People converse, I believe the word conversations will be about what you concern about. You know, and what people concern about these days, not good. The, the main topic, not good. Because unfortunately, because here's the word like I was talking about the topics like you know when i was talking about the i think the mind with the strongholds when you have a strongholds what happens is your you have a carnal mind and and a carnal mind thinks of the natural and what naturally happens you know around you will become and what they talk about on the news will become the main topic you put it on top the top pick you pick this one to be top and become a concern for you to have a conversational that i hope you follow in my pattern um that people talk about a lot of things that are going on and unfortunately to me unfortunately that they don't talk about the right topics topics that will get things right it's amazing that because when i hear uh like people uh people in the world talk about they love to emphasize of course what happened who did it you know who where where, where why and the details but but when it but they kind of will like you know they like there's not going to be no really true solution about it you know what i'm saying they kind of like certain people they will talk about it like you know well this happened that happened and and, and and a bad thing happened but you know it's gonna be like that all the time it's gonna be like this you know uh forever because people like this and da, 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 da. and you know certain most people that i run into has that mindset of when they conversate about certain things they have it like you know they of course they'll go in detail and and talk about everything and what this person did and what this person did. But it's like, you know, th that thing is, oh, but it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be like this all the time. So we might as well, you know, deal with it. It is what it is, you know, kind of thing. And to an extent, I mean, that that is true to an extent, you know, of looking at it that way. But the thing is, you know, when you're in the kingdom of God, you know what I'm saying? When you are of, uh, heaven when you are seeking first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness when you are walking by learning how to walk by faith you know each and every day when you yeah the kingdom of god is righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost and you know you're learning how to operate in that daily and to perform you know more and more for your lord for god more and more you you know you listen to these conversations and you like wait a minute you know it's like don't they know about the you know jesus christ that died on the cross for our sins that rose from the uh, grave that gave us the power the ability to make things right and and he he will make the future outcome better you know what i'm saying and even in spite of people are uh wanting to uh, engage in something that is the outcome is bitter that he will eventually make things better you know you get someone like that hearing these conversations and you know it's sad 
that you know what's going on and what's talking about and what's uh what people are not you know really talking about what's really important that it's funny i i, I listen of course i talk to god i talk to jesus christ and, and then i listen to people and i'm like as what isaiah 55 and 8 says you know for his ways are higher than his our ways his thoughts are higher than our thoughts is really what I experience almost each and every day to be talking about what's really going on up in heaven that a lot of people really don't know what's going on in heaven and not conversating on what's going on in heaven because they don't know what's going on in the heavens even in the natural heavens there's something going on there you know and as much as the world system can keep people busy occupied trying to figure out what's going on in the earth and trying to you know know the news and know the details of what's happening here there's something is going on in heaven and and i'm not even talking about the spiritual it's not just the spiritual but the natural heavens there's a lot of activity going on there that you don't know. You don't know or know to question what's going on because the thing is what people don't understand, what uh, darkness have hidden in the corner, quite far will will be quite far fetching to a lot of to a lot of people what's going on, not to all people, but a whole lot of people. What is going to be revealed very soon concerning the plot of the kingdom of darkness but uh you know look it it it's sad how you know i was meditating and i said god the, you know who who is about understanding it is written you know it is written i mean everything that i learned and happy thanksgiving sir everything that is written you know in the bible is it's there for, for us to see what's going to happen. Everything is written. Everything that is there that we need to see to truly behold what's going to happen is in the Bible. And it's amazing that I look at the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And and I see people and, and I see what's going to happen. And I see how people looking at uh, what's happening and saying, oh, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. I'm like, just shaking my head and... And, and you know, it's sad that because, because we, because it's just this, people are too conform. It's just this conform uh, mindset of too many of the wrong people, Christians. You know what I'm saying? The Christians are conform. I mean, who's gonna really, you know, help the sinners to truly see what's really going on when the Christians are conforming, you know? Too many, too many of them are conforming to this world to really give the accurate information that needs to be revealed to know what's really going on that really aggravates me that I have to, you know, post the, I have to, you know, reveal what's going on, you know? It's just crazy, you know? Uh, just watching it from my perspective and seeing what heaven is, what's going on in the heavens and why people paying attention to the things of this earth. I mean, I, I'm, Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got this uh, scenario uh, that I love the um, commercial, the Tootsie Roll commercial. I got a video on that. And I was like, how many lies does it take for a person to not, you know, listen to the thing, people of this world? Well, people in the world will never know if they keep conforming to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, this, People can lie through their teeth. People can lie everywhere. Lie in the pub, and the po politics can lie. Entertainment world can lie. You know, all these lies going on, you know what I'm saying? And people will still take heed to the influence of the things of this world. And people will not question to find out what is the right direct. I mean, what is truly, hey there, Skip. Check. We will not question the right direction man bunch of traffic for you know thanksgiving eve interesting tap traffic hello ladies y'all have a happy thanksgiving you too. all right
But the thing is, people are not questioning and speculating because they're comfortable and conform to an idea and they're expanding conversations with people of ideals concerning a world system of people that have been known of notoriously liars notoriously being liars and 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 following a negative system and and and, and influencing a lot of evil you know what i'm saying the, the evil that's being influenced in television and radio and internet every day and people will continually believe you know people that are of 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 certain certain aspects that are not fulfilling his purpose like the church and you know is they will believe it and will not think to consider the possibility of certain things that they should go find out that's what i tell people matthew 7 7 is how you want to get the true reports from heaven you know matthew 7 7 you want to get the true report from what heaven says, it says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find, knock and the doors be open. But here's the thing about if God does that to certain people like, okay, God, Lord, what's going on? And God reveals it to you, but you don't, you, you don't even know that it's he revealing you the truth. But because the truth is so far fetched to you, you will deem it like, oh, what, what's this crazy thing, you know? That's too crazy. That's nuts. That that doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to question and look at that idea because it doesn't make sense because I've been, you know, talking to more, you know, people in the world and conform to people in the world and the ideals that goes in in the world. And uh, this far-fetching idea doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and God's trying to reveal, reveal you the truth. You know, and you like, no, this is just too far-fetching. It's just too uh, out of out of my mindset of thinking to think that this could happen concerning what's going on in the world. That's going to happen. No, it's too far-fetching. It has to be normal to my conformed mindset to be somewhat right. It's just this lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. See, and what makes pride so dangerous, one of the reasons it makes pride so dangerous, it has to fit. People think what's going to happen has to fit to their narrow mind. You know what I'm saying? It has to fit somewhere, uh, makes sense to their mindset that has been influenced in a world that is about corruption, you know? About corruption that leads to destruction, you know? It's and well, I watch this. I know that this world is corrupted because the destruction of a lot of things that are going on in this world is speaking for us. I mean, it's, the outcome is telling me that the outcome of the corruption of this world. So I see more the destruction is telling the evidence that 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 corruption is going on. Well, you you will sit up there and you know, oh well, something bad happened here. Oh well, something bad happened there. Oh, this is the way it's supposed to be, and we're going to talk about it, about the details of it, and what happened, and what happened, and we'll say, again, you know, it this happens, uh, it's going to keep going on, it's going to keep happening, so it's whatever, you know what I'm saying, that the Satan hopes you do that, no, it's like, no, we need to, you know, so it's communicating to our Heavenly Father, we need to ask the Father for instructions of how to handle things that are contrary to what his word of God says and know how to perform and know how to, you know, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might and become, be strong and do what, according to what the word of God says and stop doing what man says. But, you know, I'm seeing all these systems of this world system and how it's there to make sure people do not, do not follow, do not follow the word of God. It's amazing <laughs> to what extent it it does that. It's crazy. But, hey, you need to put your conversations in the Lord that is in, I think it's somewhere in Ephesians or something that talks about conversations. We need to do more conversations to uh, fellow kingdom citizens of heaven or somewhere, I think Philippians or something like that. But that's what we need to be doing and to know what God is going to do and participate in what God's going to do and fulfill our purpose 
of what he's going to do. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.